the lazy girl guide to making iced coffee in less than one minute. I just went for a run and I just took a shower and today we're doing a what I eat in a day video sponsored by Sephora collection if you didn't know I'm actually one of Sephora collections brand ambassadors as you guys can see so I just got out of the shower and we're gonna do a little skincare routine and Sephora collection actually just came out with a bunch of new masks so I want to show you guys really quickly these are all my everyday skincare products and I just have a bunch of masks from Sephora collection. So these are the eye patches and then they have two kinds of face masks. These ones are just kind of like for on the regular. They're just like regular sheet masks. And then they came out with these new face masks to supercharge your skincare. These are the bubble masks, the primer mask, the mud mask, and the charcoal mask. And so today we are actually gonna just go ahead and do the primer mask because I'm gonna wear makeup today. So let's do that. These are actually made in Korea. So you know it's that good stuff because I'm Korean. This is the pink cream formula and it hydrates and moisturizes, brightens, blurs, evens out, and sets makeup. So you apply this on for three minutes and you don't need to rinse it off. Sephora Collection actually has this holy sheet mask challenge, which I think is super fun. Basically, the holy sheet mask challenge is when you wear your sheet mask out in public and the most hilarious pictures will get posted on Sephora Collection's feed. Let's get into my clothes. This is really... Luckily, I live in downtown where a much, much stranger things occur here. I am getting quite a few looks. <laughs> I just wash my hands and then I'm just rubbing the rest of the mask in. Feels really good actually, it's super moisturizing. I decided to change because I think the white top was a little too baggy on me. Um, but we're going to make breakfast, which is my smoothie. A fire alarm is going off right now. So this is breakfast. I don't always eat a smoothie every single day. I usually eat some type of like rice and soup. Excuse me, I'm trying to film a what I eat in a day video. But you're also trying to save my life. As I was saying, I do not always eat a smoothie for breakfast. Um, that's usually just when I'm one, busy, and after I work out, and three, if I have no time to make a real breakfast. Also, if it's really hot, like we've been having a heat wave, it is 95 right now, smoothie is the way to go. Pro tip, if your bananas are getting mushy, peel them and then just put them away in a Ziploc bag and then put them in the freezer. And then you can use them for smoothies. It's around one o'clock and I'm getting hungry. So I decided to try these dang sticky rice chips made with crunchy Thai rice grains and it's sriracha spice flavor. I got these at Whole Foods the other day, so um, I never tried them, but I thought it was a good alternative to potato chips because I do love chips and oh my god, that is so good. It says, dang, that's good. Wow, this is so good. It only has a couple ingredients that aren't like crazy chemical. Mm -hmm. This is what they look like. Mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. I thought these would be a good alternative to potato chips. 
because I love chips. These are non-GMO, gluten-free, vegan, dairy-free, soy-free, and no preservatives. Mm. I ate half the bag. Now I'm gonna make lunch. So it is two o'clock, we're gonna make some lunch now. Very little water in here. I'm gonna put in these little dried anchovies for the soup base. We're gonna bring this to a boil. I'm making Korean bean paste soup, tofu soup. It's called tenjang jjigae. And here are the ingredients you're gonna need. Tenjang, so this is kind of like miso, miso paste. Tofu, I like medium firm. Zucchini, broccoli, onion, garlic, and green onion to garnish. Oh, and we're also making it seafood based. So I have cod, Pacific cod here. It's defrosting. And then I have some frozen clams. So let's get to preparing. So while the water is boiling, I'm just gonna cut up our vegetables. I don't have that much zucchini left. Usually I have much more than this, but. And the reason why I don't put that much water in the bowl is because a lot of water will come from the vegetables and the tofu so you don't want to start off with a lot and I'm also not making more than two or three servings since it's, ju since it's just me and I'm gonna put the onions in first because I think onions take the longest to cook I don't know there's really no rhyme or reason to this <laughs> then I have these already cut up and washed broccoli florets Zucchini next. I kind of like mine salty, so I'm gonna do a big old scoop like this. If I had mushroom, I'd put in mushroom too, but I don't. Then I'm gonna add in the cod, which is like halfway defrosted. So it's pretty, pretty much just gonna cook and add water to the paste. And then right about now is when I start to take out the anchovies. The dried anchovies that we use, I just take them out because you don't really want to eat those, but you can leave them in here as well. And this is what it looks like right now. And last but not least, we're gonna add in the tofu. Um, freshly minced garlic and I'm probably gonna use like one tablespoon and we're gonna add in the clams I went vegetarian for a whole year and then like pescatarian for six months but then now I just eat I just eat things in moderation but your girl loves a good chicken wing Alright, lunch time. So this is kim, dried seaweed. We have my tenjang jjigae. We have some fermented cabbage, which is kimchi. Kimchi. And this has a lot of probiotics. And then a small little serving of brown rice. And if you're like me and you don't like making rice each time you eat, what I usually do at the beginning of the week is I make a bunch of rice and then I just put it in the fridge and then keep reheating it. So I just reheated this and I'm so excited to eat. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm And I love making this, I love making this soup because it really, and you can make the soup vegan. You don't even have to put any fish or anchovy. You can totally just put tofu. But I love making this soup because it's a good way to get rid of all your vegetables. And it's super easy to make. Like you just cut up everything and then boil it. By the way, I've been loving my skin. I really like that mask. And those masks are like 
three to eight dollars each the new ones which is less than like your everyday smoothie unless of course you make your smoothie at home like i do um, but you guys should definitely check out the holy sheet mass challenge and try it out for yourself let me know if you guys like these videos what i eat in a day because i do cook a lot at home and they're really simple recipes i think um so let me know in the comments down below i feel like trisha paytas Killed it. I could eat more. Uh, oh my god. So I just finished all that. And if you're Asian or Asian American, did you guys grow up with eating not dessert but fruits for dessert? Like your mom would always cut up pieces of fruit and then serve it to you after dinner. My mom always did that. So it's kind of like in my routine. If I am going to eat something sweet after dinner, it's going to be a piece of fruit. Dessert. Mm mm mm. Mm. It's 7 o'clock right now and I'm getting hungry again but I don't feel like eating a dinner dinner so I am really craving like a Korean egg salad sandwich but I don't have bread but I do have eggs and mayonnaise and cucumber so I'm gonna try and finesse it I don't know I've never made Korean egg salad sandwich or egg salad before um, but my mom used to make it growing up I think she puts apples in it which I'm not gonna do but I'm gonna make that and then I'm gonna make if you are an OG subscriber I used to make um, my potato champion oven baked french fries and I'm craving french fries so I'm gonna make that too so I'm gonna eat french fries and egg salad for dinner <laughs> this is also super easy you just need to like prep you need eggs, cucumber, onion, mayo for my fries I just need potatoes uh, preheat the oven to let's do 400 I just watched a monkey video on this so I'm just gonna wing it honestly. With these potatoes, you can totally just scrub these with a sponge under some hot water and then eat as is. But today I feel like being a little extra and going the extra mile and peeling them. In college I used to never peel them and I thought, I think my ex-boyfriend thought that was so gross. But you can totally do that. Sometimes I think it tastes better like that too, but. So I got this peeler from Daiso for $1.50. Game changer. A lot of my tools are from Daiso because poor college student life is a mentality, not a state. Cooking with long nails is so freaking hard. I'm gonna go ahead and soak these in water for like 30 minutes, but honestly, I probably do probably like 15 at the most. Or whenever the oven is done pre-baking or preheating. Wax paper or parchment paper. And if you had parsley, that would be awesome, but I'm just gonna use garlic and coconut oil. It's so dark, I'm so sorry. Then I'm gonna dice up the cucumber too. I'm actually gonna throw away these seeds because I feel like they were they're gonna make the egg salad like particularly mushy. Should have done that in the beginning. But it's okay. This is why I need to go to culinary school. I know this isn't food, but I wanted to include what I drank in this video too. Um, I don't know if any of you guys are in the 626 or the San Gabriel Valley, or if you just have this um, boba place where you live. It's called Tea Brook, and I really like it, but it's super, super sweet. So um, Sandy, who lives out there, she brought me it, and then I drank half of it, and then the other half I added almond milk, so it would be less sweet. And so I have a whole size of boba left. So I want to drink this. It has a a lot of caffeine in it though um but it's seven o'clock and i have a lot of work to do so i'm gonna probably stay up late tonight so i'm gonna drink a little bit of this now because it's so good it's just the tea brick milk tea i think um but yeah thanks sandy it's crazy because even with the almond milk that i added like half of this is almond milk it's still super sweet mm. okay 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 all right can i add some coconut oil garlic this much i love garlic by the way it's a korean in me and i just mix it all up with my hands
So fun fact. Is this even a fun fact? I hate yolk. Out of like 10 of these eggs, I'm probably gonna use three yolks. But I'm gonna cut out everything else because I really hate yolk. It's just so gross to me. I don't know why. And I'm gonna put this on Comey's kibble. Comey's what I eat in a day. Go eat! All right, next I'm gonna put all of this in. Cayenne, salt, pepper to taste, and the key ingredient, veganaise. Mm. A lovely fries. Not the healthiest of my meals, but definitely gonna be delicious. I feel like with cravings, it's a little bit better if I just cook it at home as opposed to buying french fries and egg salad because I could easily go do that. But at least with this, I know what's going in my food. I'm gonna eat my egg salad. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. I feel like the fries could have definitely used more garlic. Normally, I would just eat tender deer for breakfast, lunch, and dinner because I have so many leftovers. But I thought that would be boring for the video. So for the sake of the video, I decided to make something new. I couldn't eat those pieces because they were stuck to the paper. You didn't think I was done eating, did ya? All right, dessert. I washed half a bag of strawberries. Or no, these are cherries. I don't think I'll be eating more after this, so I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to check out Sephora Collection's face mask down below and try out the Holy Sheet Mask Challenge. Let me know in the comments if you like these types of videos. I would say today was a pretty moderate day for how much I ate because I can eat a lot more than this. And I would say it's a 5 out of 10 on the healthy scale because I can eat a lot healthier than this on some days. And on other days, I can eat a lot more unhealthy, like disgustingly unhealthy. Like I really want hot Cheetos right now, but the only reason I'm not getting them is because I don't want to go outside and get them. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a like and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mm -mm -mm.